Good morning to all of our friends. Welcome. Hello. Jimbo has big waves for all of his friends. Hi there. Welcome, everybody. Happy Father's Day to all of the dads out there. I hope you're having a lovely morning so far. The sun is just peeking through here, so I hope the weather is somewhat nice where you are. Hello there. Nice to see all of our friends. So once you've joined us, feel free to pop a little comment down below and we'll say a big hello to all of our friends as they are joining us. Hello, you guys. Thank you so much for coming along. Good morning. Who can do a big wave with Jimbo? Nice. So I'll wait another minute or two. Make sure all of our friends are with us. Good morning. Hi, guys. Who's got a big wave for Jimbo? Can you wave really, really high? Nice job. Can you wave two hands together? Are you all very, very excited for our holiday adventure? Nice job. Nice waving. Who can clap their hands? Well done. So if the weather is sunny where you are, feel free to take the adventure outside. If it's not so nice where you are, feel free to stay inside and we can imagine that we're in some tropical beach somewhere. Hello. Hi, Katie. Nice to see you. Good morning. Hello, you guys. Hi. Hello, everyone in Warwick. Nice to see you. Woohoo! Happy Father's Day is arrived. I hope all of our dads are having a great morning. Hello, Albert. Nice to see you. All right, you guys, we'll leave another 30 seconds, I think, and then we will get started. We're going to have lots and lots of fun. Hello. Thank you, Arletta. Nice to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Anna. Hi there. Nice to see you as well. Hello, Amelia Rose. Thank you so much for coming along. Hello, Adam. Hello, Jessica. Hello, Holly. Hello, Layla and George. Hello, James. So many friends joining us. Thank you so much for saying hello to us. And thank you for coming along on our adventure this morning. So as always, you guys, our activities are going to be suitable for babies right up until five-year-olds. So I'll give some adaptations of our exercises as we're going through them. And feel free to adapt them to suit you however you need to do that as well. And we'll have lots and lots of fun together. Hello. All right, I think it's time for us to get started. So if you join us in the future, if you're watching us right now live, feel free to say a big hello in the comments. We would love to see you having lots and lots of fun at home. Now, shall we sing our first song? And we need to sing welcome to all of our friends. Hello, Betty. Hello, Frank. Nice to see you both. All right, who can do a big clap of their hands just like this? If we have smaller babies, we can take their hands just like this. We can encourage them to do a big, big clap. We're gonna make a nice steady beat so we can sing our welcome song to all of our friends. Here we go. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. First we'll clap our hands like so. <gasps> clap, 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 clap. Then we'll reach and tickle our toes. Tickle, 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 tickle. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. Well done, you guys. Good morning, Violet. Sorry, the sun that we had outside has just gone behind the clouds, so it might have gotten a little bit darker right here. So good morning, everybody, and thank you so much for joining me and Jimbo on our holiday adventure today. So we have lots and lots of fun activities planned, and we're going to jump straight into it. So to go on our holiday, we need to take a big, big airplane. So we're going to do the airplane in one of two ways. So I'll show you how we're going to do it with our smaller little ones. So I'm going to lower our camera slightly right here. We're going to see if we can do some tummy surfing. So grown-ups, we can sit down and then we can roll onto our backs, pop little ones up onto our shins. Whoa! And we get ready to fly our planes just like this. So of course you can do this with little ones of any age. Depends on how strong you're feeling this morning. We can lift them a little bit higher. We can lift them a little bit lower. This is really, really good for small babies, really, really good to build up that strength in their neck and in their lower back as well as they start to hold themselves up and their core strength as well as they try to balance themselves as we do some rocking. 
So of course we can do this, even our older ones can do this, or older ones, if you want to lie down on your backs, you can grab a little teddy, you can pop the teddy onto your knees, and you can fly your plane with your teddy as well. So shall we see if we can fly our plane? Well done. Fly, fly, fly your plane, fly your plane up high. Fly, fly, fly your plane way up in the sky. Well done, now should we go backwards and forwards? Just like that, well done. Fly, fly, fly your plane, fly your plane up high. Fly, fly, fly your plane way up in the sky. Well done. Now on the count of three, we're gonna bring our little ones or our teddies, whatever you're using, we're gonna bring them into land on our tummies. So shall we get ready? We're gonna rock back and forth. One, two, and three, and down our planes come. Well done, give yourselves a big, big clap, you guys. Excellent flying of our planes this morning. So we've landed in our nice tropical country. So it can be wherever you want. It could be Spain, it could be Ibiza, it could be anywhere at all that the sun is shining brightly. Good morning and thank you so much to our friends for joining us. Hello. So now that we've landed in this very, very sunny country, we're going to need to put on some sunscreen, aren't we? So we're going to use our imaginations and we're going to rub our sun cream all over our body. We want to make sure that we're nice and safe from the sun and that we don't get burnt. Well done. So can we do a big, big rub of our sunscreen all over our bodies? It's a really, really good imagination play for our older ones. Of course, for our younger ones as well. Grown-ups, we can do the rubbing in all over their bodies. Really, really good for body awareness, bringing attention to all different parts of our body from our fingers all the way down to our toes. Well done. So shall we rub in our sunscreen? We can maybe do the bottoms of our feet as well. Good job. This is the way we rub the sunscreen. Rub the sunscreen. Rub the sunscreen. This is the way we rub the sunscreen on holiday. Well done. Now I'm going to pop Jimbo down just to the side. And our older ones who are with us, can you see if you can rub really, really fast? So how fast can you rub all over your body, making sure you put sunscreen all over. Well done. This is the way we rub the sunscreen. Rub the sunscreen. Rub the sunscreen. This is the way we rub the sunscreen on holiday. Well done, you guys. I think you got lots and lots of nice sunscreen on our bodies and we're going to be nice and safe and ready to have lots and lots of fun on holiday. So, since we're at the beach, we are going to see if we can make some sand castles. So we're going to need a couple of things to make our sand castle. So I have got a little bucket. So if you have a bucket at home, feel free to run, 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 run and grab that bucket right now. If you don't have a bucket, not a problem at all. You can grab maybe a pot from the cupboard outside. You can grab a little bowl, anything that we can put a few things into and then pop it upside down. We can use that as our bucket. So now I'm going to see if I can get some sand as well. So my sand today is going to be made up of some bean bags and some air shapes as well. So we're gonna see if we can pop some sand into our bucket and make a big, big sand castle. So you can use whatever you have at home as your sand. You can maybe use a tea towel, you can use a little pillowcase cover, whatever you have at home, we can pop that into the bucket and we can make a big, big sand castle. So shall we get ready? I'm gonna pop in all of my little bean bags to make a big, big sand castle. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, I had six things that went into my bucket to make my sandcastle. I wonder how many things did you have? Could you count them out really loudly? All right, so we've got our sand in our bucket ready to go. Now, grown-ups, you might need to help your little ones with this one. We're going to see if we can flip our buckets upside down, and then we're going to see if we can make our sandcastle. So on a count of three, we're going to do a big flip. Are we ready? One, two, three. Whoop! Did you do it? Wow, did all of the sand stay inside in your sand castle? Of course, if you're outside and you have a little sand pit or you have a little sandbox in the house, feel free to use that and you can make a real sand castle and we can really pretend that we're somewhere really, really sunny on the beach. So now we're gonna lift up our sand castle again on the count of three. Shall we count together? One, two, three, and then 
Whoosh! Wow, well done! So my sandcastle wasn't very sturdy, so it fell over, but yours might have stayed really, really tall. So can you see my big, big sandcastle? Wow, nice job! So whatever your sandcastle is made of, on the count of three, we're going to do a big push and see if we can knock our sandcastle over. So are we ready, all our boys and girls? Of course, if you've used a scarf or a tea towel, maybe you can... Maybe you can blow the sandcastle and see if that moves whatever you've used to make your sandcastle as well. So I'm going to push mine and are you ready to push yours at home? One, two, three, push! Wow, well done you guys! Excellent making of your sandcastle. And grown-ups, as always, if you feel like taking a little picture or a little video of your little one doing the activities at home, feel free to send that our way. We always love to see our friends having fun at home during our online sessions. Well done, you guys. Excellent making of our sandcastles. Now it's time for us to go on a big, big boat ride in the ocean. So we've played with the sand. And since we've got this big blue sea in front of us, it only makes sense to go for a big, big boat ride. So shall we get ready to go for a boat ride? So for our younger ones who are joining us, grown-ups, feel free to pop them right here between your legs. We're going to do a big row of our boat. So grown-ups, you can really encourage your little one to do some movement back and forth. So for our babies, it'll be a nice stretch in our lower back. We'll really be working those muscles in the arms. Well done. Of course, for our older ones, we can do the rowing of the boat ourselves, can't we? So we can start and we can pull as big as we can. Shall we see if we can row the boat all together? Wow, good job. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Good job, you guys. Well done. I think we can try rowing our boats even faster. Who can row their boat really, really fast? Shall we give it a go? Are we ready one more time? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Good job, all of our adventurers on holiday. But I think we can go even faster. So can we see how fast we can go? I want to see those boats going so fast all around the ocean. Are we ready? Let's get our hands ready to row our boat. Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! Well done, you guys. Excellent rowing of our boats. Now, we are still in the water, so I would love if we can do a big jump and a splash into the water. So Jimbo, we're gonna pop you back here for the moment. Of course, if we have our babies with us and we wanna do a jump and a splash, we can hold onto them and do a big jump ourselves. But all of our older ones are gonna do a big jump and a splash into the water. Are we ready? So we're gonna to count to three, we're gonna stand up in our boats. And on the count of three, we're gonna jump and splash down into the water. Shall we give it a go? One, oh, wobbly boat. Two, three, jump and splash. <gasps> Wow, well done. Did you jump into the water? I think we can climb back into our boat. We can try another splash, shall we give it a go? Let's count to three. One, two, three, jump and splash. Wow, good job, you guys. All right, one last time. Who's ready to do an even bigger splash? Can you jump as high as you can go? And then splash as much water as you can. Here we go, let's count to three. One, two, Three, jump and splash. Wow, well done you guys. Nice splashing all around the country. Excellent job. Now we need to stand up. So we've jumped and splashed, but now we're soaking wet. So we're gonna need to dry off our bodies. So can we try a big shake of our hands? Who can shake their hands? Shake all that water off our hands. Of course, if we have our little ones with us, we can try a gentle shake of their hands as well, really bringing attention to all of those body parts as we shake them all off, as we shake the water off our bodies. So can we do a big shake? 
Whoa, shake and 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 stop. Well done. Are the hands dry? I think our hands are dry. Now, can you shake your head? Can you get all that water off your head and out of your hair? Here we go. Shake and 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 stop. Wow, well done. Did we get all the water off our hair? Shall we shake? our feet. Now this is a tricky one. So if your grown-ups need to hold you up so you can shake both feet at the same time, they can do that. Or you can really test your balance. You can stand on one foot and do a big shake of the other one. Shake and 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 stop. Well done. And the other foot. Shake and 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 stop. Now our whole bodies, let's give a big, big shake. All right, we're all shaking. Are we ready? Let's see how much of ourselves we can shake. Are we ready? Shake and 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 stop. Well done, you guys. I think we are all very, very dry. We've gotten all of the water off of our bodies. Now, as we're on holidays, we've just explored the beach. We've had some fun on the sand. We've had some fun in the ocean but it's time for us now to go on a little camping trip. So we're gonna make camping part of our very, very special holiday. And to get to our campsite, we're gonna need to ride our bus. So we need to sit down again. We can sit down on the floor. We can sit down on the couch. Of course, if we wanna stand up, that's absolutely fine. But we are gonna see if we can ride our bus all together. And I wonder, does anybody know any special songs about a bus? Hmm, what could we sing? Maybe about some wheels, maybe about some doors, maybe about some wipers or the horn. <gasps> Shall we see if we can sing a special song? If you know it, let's hear you singing along and grown-ups as well. Here we go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all day long. And I wonder, what do the wipers do? Hmm, that's right. They go swish, don't they? The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all day long. And what could the doors do? Hmm, can you tell me? That's right. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all day long. And last one. I think this last one is some people's favorite. So what does the horn do? Hmm, can you tell me? It's a very funny noise. It goes beep beep, doesn't it? The horn on the bus goes beep beep beep, beep beep beep. Beep, 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 the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. Well done, you guys. Great riding in our bus. And guess what? We have arrived at our campsite. Honk, honk, excellent. So now everybody off the bus. And first up in our campsite, we are going to go fishing. So we need to see if we can find a little fishing rod. So my fishing rod today is going to be a pretend one. I'm going to use my imagination and it's going to be this lovely scarf. So now grown-ups, if you have a little rod at home, if you have a little kitty fishing rod, feel free to grab that. If you don't, you can use something like what I'm using. You can use a scarf, you can use a tea towel, you can use anything you would like to pretend to be our fishing rod. Now, what we're gonna do is, on the count of three, we're gonna hold it behind us, and then we're gonna whoosh! We're gonna throw it out. We can see if we can find any fish swimming in the river. So, shall you run and grab your fishing rod? Wow, well done. Feel free to give me a little thumbs up in the comments or a little comment to let me know that you have your fishing rod. Make sure that we don't leave anybody behind in our camping adventure. So now, are we ready to catch some fish 
So now, again, depending on what age your little one is, grown-ups feel free to help your little one as much or as little as they need. So they might need a little bit of help in launching the fishing rod forward. They might be able to do it by themselves. That is absolutely fine. If we have very small babies, what we're going to do instead is we're going to pop them down onto their backs and we're going to use our fishing rod as a little bit of visual exploration so we can move our fishing rod back and forth. You can't see Jimbo lying down, but he's right here. So if your little one is lying down, we can move our fishing rod back and forth. We can really encourage little ones to do some tracking with whatever colorful thing we're using for our fishing rod. But for our older ones, we're going to try a little bit of physical exploration by throwing our rod forwards just like that. So shall we give it a go on the count of three? Let's hold it up. One, two, three, whoosh. Oh, now we are seeing if we can find any fish swimming in the river. Hmm, shall we have a look at our rods and see if we found anything? Oh, nothing this time. Shall we try again? Let's give it a go. Let's hold it back. And then on the count of three, one, two, three, whoosh. Oh, wow, did you throw your fishing rod? Shall we move it around in the river, see if we can find any fish? Oh, shall we have a look? Oh, oh, nothing again. Shall we try one more time? I think we should. All right, let's throw it back. On the count of three, one, two, three, whoosh. Whoa, now I think I'm feeling very, very lucky this time. We're gonna see if we found any fish swimming in the water. Shall we lift it up and see? Whoa, whoa, look who we found. We found a very, very colorful fish swimming all the way through the water. You got a fish, brilliant, I'm so delighted. So if you have any sort of fish soft toy at home, any little uh, finger puppet or hand puppet, you can feel free to grab that. If you don't, no problem at all because we're gonna sing a very special song and I'm sure you all know the words to this song. So shall we see if we can sing a little song about our colorful fish? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, no. Wow, well done. Did you sing a very, very special song with your fish? Well done to all of our friends. So now we're going to be very, very kind and we're going to throw our fish back into the river so he can swim along with all the rest of his friends. So we're going to say bye bye fish. Whoa, back he goes. Fish away. It's time to put our fish away. Well done, you guys. All right. So now it's getting a little bit late and it's getting a little bit dark and cold outside. So we are going to see if we can build a campfire. So now for our campfire, we're going to need some colorful things and you can use anything at all you have at home. But we're going to see if we can find things that are orange and red and yellow. So all of the colors of our fire, we're going to see if we can find any props at home that are orange, red, and yellow. We're going to put them together and we're going to build our campfire out of those colors. So shall we give it a go? I'm going to lower my camera again slightly because we're going to build our campfire at the back and we're going to see if we can find lots and lots of things that are orange, red, and yellow. So this is a chance for you to run, run, run around the room that you're in. You can really work together with your little one, finding some colors. We can really focus on finding something orange. We can find something red. We can find something yellow, and then we can put it all together. We can make our big, big campfire. So now let's see if we can build a big, a big, big campfire out of our colorful things. So I'm gonna put these on the bottom. I'm gonna put this next all the way over the top. And then I'm gonna put these on top of that. So now look at my pretty campfire that I've just made out of our orange, red, and yellow toy. Fire at home, feel free to take a little picture and send it our way. We would love to see what your little ones use for their imagination to grab all of their colorful things and use it to make a campfire. So now, when the campfire is made, we have to be very, very careful we don't touch it because it's very, very hot, isn't it? Ooh, very, very hot. 
<gasps> well done. So we can see if we can warm up our hands sitting around our campfire. Jimbo is loving our campfire as well. He's feeling the heat from it. <gasps> well done. And because it's a little bit dark outside, I wonder, could we sing some songs about our twinkly stars in the sky? Hmm, who knows a special song about our twinkly stars? So we can sit around our campfire. Of course, if you have a few kids with you, you can make a little semicircle, you can sit around, you can keep yourselves nice and warm, and we can sing our special song all about our twinkly stars as well. So, who can show me some twinkly stars? Wow, are they shining brightly high in the sky? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high Like a diamond in the sky Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Wow, well done, that was some brilliant singing. You sounded so good singing that song. And thank you very much to all of our friends for doing all of our actions along with us as well. Now, I think it might be time to put out our fire and see if we can move on to our next activity. So we're gonna need all of our little friends to help us out. We're gonna do a big blow on top of our fire and see if we can quench it. So we can have little ones and grown-ups working together. Me and Jimbo are gonna blow out our fire together over here. So we're gonna have to blow really, really strong to make sure that we put out the fire completely. Are you ready, Jimbo? On the count of three, shall we give a big blow to our fire? One, two, three. <sighs> wow, well done. Good job, you guys. Good blowing out of our fire. Now we have lots and lots of space that we can play some more, don't we? So now Jimbo, we can pop you down here. Now next up, as we're on holidays, I think it might be nice to send some postcards back to our family and friends at home. So we've written the postcards already, but we need to see if we can pop a big stamp on top of our postcards. And what we're gonna do is, we are gonna be the stamper. So we need to grab some things that we can use for our postcard. So I've got some shapes over here. I've got two squares and I've got two circles. Now you can grab anything you have at home. If you wanna put down a couple of tea towels on the ground, if you wanna put down a couple of cushions, you can use those as well because we're gonna see if we can do a big jump and a stamp onto each of our postcards. So I wonder, can you tell me who our postcards might be for? So this postcard, is for my daddy because it's Father's Day today and I really want to send him a nice postcard back home. This one might be for my brother. We're gonna have this one for my friend Andrew and then we're gonna have this one for Jimbo's friend Judy, aren't we? So we're gonna have lots and lots of postcards for all of our family and friends. So grown-ups, once you have your postcards, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay them out on the ground and don't worry, I will shift my camera slightly again so you can see what I'm doing. So you can lay them out on the ground, spaced a little bit apart. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna really work on our strength. We're gonna jump and stamp each postcard individually as we land on top of it. So I'm gonna lower my camera again, so you'll just be able to see my feet, but that's okay. It'll just be for a minute or two so you can see how we're gonna do this activity. Now, so we've got our postcard here. We've got one, two, and we've got three and four. So we're gonna really work on our strength as we jump and stamp from postcard to postcard, aren't we? So now, of course, if we have littler ones with us, feel free to adopt this exercise and do it together so you can always help them out and do a little jump and a little hop from postcard to postcard. That's absolutely fine if you wanna do that with your little one. If our little ones are slightly older, we can really encourage them to work on their strength in their legs and their lower body and do a jump and a stamp onto each of our postcards, can't we? So can we see if we can do a big stamp? <gasps> Shall we give that a go? We are stamping, stamping, stamping. We are stamping, now we'll stop. Well done, now shall we try again? Remember, we're being the big, big stamper and we're stamping on the postcard with our feet. Here we go. We are stamping, stamping, stamping. We are stamping. Now we'll stop. Good job. I think we can do it one more time. I don't think we've stamped all of our postcards enough. Here we go. As big a jump as you can do and a big, big stamp. We are stamping, stamping, stamping. We are stamping. Now we'll stop. 
Good job, you guys. Well done. Give yourselves a big, big postcard. So now it's time for us to post them. So we have to find a letterbox and we have to see if we can pop the postcards inside. So depending on where you are in your house, you might find somewhere to pop your little postcards. So you might pop them underneath the cushions of the couch. You might pop them underneath the pillow. You might open one of the drawers in the kitchen and pop them inside. But we're gonna post all of our postcards. So I'm gonna pop mine right here. There we go. So can you run, 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 run and pop your postcards right inside. Well done, you guys. All right, now it's time for us to play a very fun game of hide and seek, but it's not gonna be us that's hiding. We're gonna see if we can do the searching and find some things that might be hiding around the house. So we need to find three things. We need to find some sunglasses. We need to find a hat. And we need to find a flip-flop. So can you run, 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 run all around the house and see if you can find some glasses? They don't have to be sunglasses. If you have prescription glasses, they will work absolutely fine. But we need to find some glasses. We need to find, oh, nice posting the postcards. We need to find some glasses. We need to find a hat and we need to find a flip flop. So now on the count of three, are you ready? Little ones and grown ups working together. You're going to run, 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 but only when we count to three. So don't start just yet. Are we ready? Here we go. One two three go it's time for hide and seek it's time for hide and seek search high and low and here we go it's time for hide and seek now can you run 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 all around the house see if you can find some glasses see if you can find a hat see if you can find a flip-flop and you can let me know in the comments when you have found all of your things all right run 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 good job have you found them have you found some sunglasses? Are they as stylish as my ones? Have you found a hat? Have you found a flip-flop? Shall we see who's going to be the first one back? So let's see who comments first. Let's see who's going to find all of their things. It's time for hide and seek. It's time for hide and seek. Search high and low and here we go. It's time for hide and seek. Nice job. Claire has found them. She is our first person to find all of the things. So feel free to let us know when you found them. And Katie has found some. Well done, Katie. Can you hold them up really high? And of course, grown-ups, just like I said before, if you want to take a, a photo or a video of your little one searching, or if they found them, you can take a little snap of them and you can send it our way. We would love to see that. See what kind of glasses, see what kind of hats, see what kind of flip-flops you've got at home. Nice, Colette has hers. Well done. Good job. All right, excellent. James has found his. Good job. And Michael too. And Amelia has them. Well done, you guys are so good. Excellent job. Thank you, Monica. You guys are so good at finding them. Amelia Rose, good job. All right, you guys. So now, oh, Frank has his. Good job, Frank. Good searching. Anna has hers. Well done, Anna. Good job. So now, maybe we can put them on. Can you put on your sunglasses? Can you put on your hat? Can you put on your flip-flop? I won't put this one on because it's a little bit too small for me, but let's see if you can put on all of the things you found because these are things that we would wear on holidays. We need to keep the sun off our face. We need to make sure that we can see and we can make sure that we have nice soft shoes on as well. Nice job, Adam. Good job. <gasps> Lovely searching. All right, so now we're gonna pop all of our things down because it's time for us to fly our planes all the way back home. I know it's very, very sad, but we can have lots and lots of fun at home as well, can't we? So our holiday is over, but we still need to take a big, big plane ride home. So instead of doing our tummy surfing this time, wow, well done, Evan, and well done, Michael. So instead of doing our tummy surfing this time, we are gonna be the airplanes, and we are gonna fly all the way around. So can you do that for me? Little ones, we're gonna hold out our arms. We're gonna be our airplanes and we're gonna see if we can fly all the way around. Of course, if we have some of our smaller babies, grown-ups feel free to hold on to them and we can do some quick flying as well all the way around the room. So are we ready? Let's go. We are flying, flying, flying. We are flying, back we go. We are flying, flying, flying. We are flying, back we go. Well done. On the count of three, 
one, two, three. Whoa, we're gonna land our planes. Well done. Excellent job, you guys. I think we need to give ourselves a big, big clap. Well done. And we've got one last song to sing because we need to give ourselves a big, big cheer for doing such a good job. So we need to create a little beat. We're gonna see if we can tap on our knees or we can bang on the ground or we can clap our hands, whatever we'd like to do. But we're gonna create a little beat. We're gonna give ourselves a big, big cheer. Well done. I feel great. I feel fine. And I've had a lovely time with my family and friends here at Jimboree. Won't you say three cheers with me? Can we count? One, two, three. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! It's a Jimbo at home day! Well done, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me this morning on our holiday adventure as we celebrate Father's Day. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming along. As I said, if you have any pictures or videos you want to send our way, feel free to message them on Facebook or you can send us an email as well. If you have any questions about online classes in your area or questions about our reopening dates in the future, again, feel free to pop onto our website, come onto our Facebook page or send us an email. We would be delighted to talk you through anything you want to know. So thank you so much, everyone, again. Well done. Thank you so much for coming. Can you give a big wave bye-bye? And Jimbo wants to say bye-bye as well. Can you give a big wave bye-bye to Jimbo? Bye-bye. Well done, you guys. Who's waving? Excellent work. Well done, you guys. Have a lovely rest of your Father's Day. And we'll see you again very, very soon, hopefully. Mwah! And mwah! And mwah! Bye, everyone!